so many things that as I began to learn about this thing called Sunnah, it's just practical application. But check this out. And if this doesn't get you, I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. In Spain, during the heyday of Islam, when the real science was being brought there a thousand years ago, when people were really thinking, reflecting, and teaching, and they were into astronomy, geology, hydrology, and understanding how the water cycles work, many of the great sciences and disciplines were being developed at that time. And people traveled from all over the world, from Europe especially, to come and to be educated here. But at that time, it was called the Dark Ages. And there was the Black Plague. And the people were suffering and dying en masse all through Europe. But this was not happening amongst the Muslims. The Muslims were free from that. And even when the Europeans came and brought their plague with them, they would even die. But the Muslims didn't catch it. It didn't spread. Now today, they can explain it to you real easy. They go, well, that's pretty simple. The Muslims were washing themselves at least five times a day. They were cleaning themselves the way a surgeon does today. They ate with their right, not with the left. So they didn't pick up this infectious diseases. And when they eliminated, they had a certain place and a way, and they washed everything away with water, just as we use the modern day toilets, washing it away. All of this was 1,400 years ago. That's where it started. A thousand years ago, we see what happened in Spain. And none of them ever got it. In fact, they showed the people of Europe what to do to cure their problem. And they took it all from what? The logic. The facet of Islam called logic. Now, it's not the logic of you and I. And it's not the logic of the scientists that I'm talking about. It's the logic of the Creator who knew what He created in the first place. And when He gives us something as beautiful and as simple to use as something called Sunnah of Muhammad Sallallahu peace be upon Him, then what is stopping us from using our logic to recognize, hey, this is something that I need for me. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Simple as that. Simple logic. Here we have the example in front of us. We know that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last messenger for all human beings, for all time. And he's telling us, do this, don't do that. Follow this way, follow this sunnah. So this is the logic of the sunnah. One of the many beautiful aspects of Islam. <laughs>